What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode here at Trail Monsters. Today, we're out here at Claghorn Ridge, and we're continuing the After the Storm Trail Hit. The reason we're at Claghorn is because Josh came out here a couple weeks ago, and he said it was really, really rutted. He rescued a Bronco that had rolled over, so we decided, hey, cover the rest of the trails that are in our area, so that way anybody that goes out wheeling kind of knows what to expect. So, Claghorn is one of those trails that, honestly, people do not respect i guess they take it very lightly they come out here hit a rut roll over and it's just a mess man so um, it's not a very difficult trail you're not doing a lot of rock crawling but you are going into huge ruts and it does get you tippy so if you're not paying attention it causes rollovers causes things to break causes things to stretch out and snap and it's just one of those things so today we're going to go in there it's a small group it's a tuesday so we're going to give you a review tell you what it looks like one good thing to point out right now is if you are trying to um, enter this trail you cannot go through the 15 freeway exit Clayhorn like normal you do have to come up to 138 and enter through this side so we're here where the uh, rest area is i guess there's a restroom kind of like an air down area and then uh you kind of jump in through here go in make a left and then you're in Clayhorn ridge so Clayhorn does have about three or four different spots we're gonna make sure we show you what they all look like and then uh, we'll go from there man so stick around enjoy Clayhorn ridge review let's get it Alrighty, team so as we keep moving here at Clayhorn, one thing i have noticed just right off the bat is the trail is really 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 rugged um, Josh was correct even just getting into the trail and getting to the like the little left all the roads are cut up by you know the way the water flowed and whatnot uh, people's tires cutting it all up and then obviously I haven't seen any mud yet but there is a few sections that are really really rutted so you might have to kick it into four-wheel drive a lot earlier than you think but a lot of places are kind of closed out too so you can see there's a gate there and then there's the main little sign but this side is open still so just be very wary as you're traveling because the road does get uh really rutted so if you're you know carrying some speed you might miss a you know you might miss a rut and you might break something or might roll over um that's usually how it goes down Leghorn uh, is one of those that does that often but we're gonna keep moving we'll pull up at edison hill and then show you what that looks like the very famous uh tipsy turby here this is where you check all your flex see if your lockers are working ifs trucks usually struggle here but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go up with the gladiator and today we have a jx and uh mr frank and his two-door so we'll see how they do on the way up but we've seen the gladiator do this plenty of times so they'll be the stars of the show today and uh, let's see what it is. he's gonna have to ride the wall a little bit because he doesn't have lockers but he should be all right all the way up already struggling. He does have a track though, I believe. There it goes. He does have a front locker, so that front should be able to push him up. And I'll bring him to the right. He's deciding to fall in every hole, too, so let's see how he does. Nice. Easy work for Mr. Frank. All right, team, so after that first little hill, we come to this little turnout here. So this little section right here, it gets really tricky for open diff. So we're gonna see how Chris does with his open diff flexes and see how um, it acts up on him. Usually what happens is that rear end drops into that hole and it kicks up the wheels and it's a no-go, but you do have to ride it high or on the inside and you should be all right. So climb high.
check is working, I check is working. There it goes. There it is, the wheel lift. Oh yeah. Alright, can Mr. Frank cage? Easy work. Alright, let's keep moving. Team. so we pulled up to the next section here so this is another section that if you're open diff they tend have a tendency to struggle because there's a lot of ruts so you have to go through them it looks like some boulders fell in there but everything still looks basically the same uh this bypass out here damn it really turned into a bypass you really don't have to do this but obviously if you're here knock it all out this this section right here if you are open diff just ride the wall either left or ride it right and you should be all right but i'm gonna hit it first and then we'll let the team go by Keep that line right there, you're good. Turn it in a little bit. Back up, just like you have it right now. As you back up, go driver. Right there, come forward. And then go passenger once it climbs. There it goes. Yep, yep, yep. Keep it against the wall. You're good. Right there. You're going to climb the rock. Let it work. Let it work. Yep. Nice. Keep coming. You're good. Start shooting that way. Yep, straighten it out now. Keep going, you're good. He'll probably fall into all the holes. Look at the views though. Black horn is so pretty. Let's go. So now we're going to go to the Eagles viewpoint and check out the city and then uh, we can move. Alrighty team, so we pulled up to a very famous chute here. So the chute is one of those ones that kind of any beginner or somebody that's barely starting to get into the off-road and they know about Cleghorn, the chute's one of those ones that gives you the heebie-jeebies, the sun's right there. Do not enter. We got baby bread over there. We got bread. We got the JK. Look at my man in the Toyota. He's a Chris is like, oh shit, here we are. Shoot, don't be scared, dude. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the shoot. We're gonna go down and see what it looks like. Honestly, the shoot's one of those tricky ones. This is where a lot of people do roll. Um, you just have to hit it correctly and then not smash your brakes. So if you take anything from this video when you come and do the shoot, just kind of let it roll. You know, if you have sliders, especially, you'll be fine. The slider will hit, let it roll, let it get planted, and then walk the back, the back end over. But it is kind of getting ready on us. And it looks absolutely gorgeous everywhere. But all four of us are gonna go down. Let's see what happens, man. Let's shoot. Let's get it. All right, here comes Brett. I just did it myself. It is a lot more rudder than it used to be. Pushes you against the wall. So we'll see how everybody does.
I would climb that big rock so that way your side doesn't hit. Nice and easy. Here comes the drop, nice and smooth. Easy. Go ahead. You're good. Come down, you're good. You're good. You're good. It's a good line. It's gonna tip in a little bit, but you're fine. Keep that line, no, 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 less. Right there, just come straight. You're good, start turning in now. More, more. There it goes. Good job, all the way, all the way. Hell yeah. You should be good right there. Turn it in. More. Right there. You're just against it. You're fine. You're good. Yep. So you ever hit the chute, just stay against that rock as much as possible. If you're in a two door, just climb the rear end. It'll settle afterwards. Nice and slow on the drop. Perfect. Hell yeah. All right, so there it is. The shoot is complete. Everybody made it down, no problem. The hole is a lot bigger. People try to stack rocks here, but there's not a lot to grab from. So what you gotta do is remember, put your rear tire on this rock. It'll settle you, and then you can just drop down nice and smoothly. So the shoot's complete, man. It's been a while. Let's get out of here. Let's keep moving. All right, so after the shoot, you can go left and kind of finish the trail, or you can start hitting right. And every time you go right, we get a little bit of spice on each side. So this section right here is really rutted. Looks about the same as before. But if you don't take the line correct, you tip in pretty hard. I've seen people roll here too. Hell yeah. All right, here comes the Toyota. Let's see how he does. Or Lexus, if you guys want to be technical about it. Slowly. Yep. Climb up and then start going passenger just a little bit. More. Right there, that's a good line. Nice and easy. Yep. More. Nice. Strain it out and come down. Nope. Woo! Good job. Start going driver now. Hell yeah, good job, dude. Drop. Nice. All right, comes Mr. Frank. Two door. Hell yeah. Easy work. Let's keep going. This is a lifted. Should lift up over here too. Yeah. Alrighty team, it's really windy, so if you guys do hear a lot of wind noise, excuses. Again, once you get to the top of the ridge here at Clayhorn, it usually is pretty windy. We just got to the next spicy area here. So this section right here is optional. This is not really even part of the trail. This is just all the optional stuff after the shoot. You can make a left, climb up this wall, or go right. So there's two sections. There's this one and there's one more on the left upcoming. But Brett's gonna come up first, let's see the other guy. Gonna come up first, and the Lex is gonna come up next. He wants to hit it, so we'll see how he does.
Straighten it out now. Right there. Yep, yep. Keep that line. A little bit more. Keep more, a little bit more. Come on, baby. Keep that way, that way. There you go, now turn in. A little bit more. Now turn in. There it goes, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Pedal a little bit, pedal. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There it goes. Great cage, nice flex, two door. This section you gotta either ride the wall or go out in the middle. I usually take the middle line, but you do have the wheelbase and everything, so it's nice and smooth. Alrighty team, so we just got to the bottom here at Cleghorn. I mean, Cleghorn never disappoints, honestly. It's always a fun trail. It's been a long time since we've done it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching what it looks like now. There is sections of it that are still closed, obviously, like Edison Hill, some of that entry point. Um, it looks like maybe it's too, it's too washed out and unsafe for people to pass. But appreciate you guys sticking around, man. Again, shout out to Brett, everybody else that came out, Frank, Chris. We're gonna go meet up with Eli, have some pie, and hang out with them for a little bit. But appreciate you guys sticking around. Hopefully you guys, enjoyed this review 2nx17 is literally the last trail that's up here and then that's a wrap we covered everything from the storm so if you guys have any questions hit me up but Clayhorn bridge if you haven't done it knock it out because it is a fun one to come out to again appreciate you guys sticking around make sure you like comment subscribe follow us on instagram youtube patreon all that good stuff and if you have any questions hit me up get some swag we still got t-shirts sweaters all that good stuff um and uh, we'll see you next time man appreciate it.